Hi, Great Force. Hope you are all well. Um, hopefully, I will see you soon. Today, I'm explaining what you have to do for the 28th of May. We're going to do a little bit of revision of topic 7. Okay. So, the starter, and by now you should know that a starter, you don't have to write answers. You only test yourself. Okay. So, the starter, answer verbally. Verbally means... You don't have to write the answers. Okay, so let's test. Let's test yourself. Okay, name the manufactured material and try not to cheat. Okay, so let's quickly look at the, um, the table here. Now they're saying sand and they say the product is window. So what do you think is the manufactured material? Mm, do you know? And then clay... And the product is mug. What is the manufactured material? Oil and coal and a straw. So a straw that you drink with. Mm, what is it made out of? And then wool and a jersey, cotton, duvet cover, animal hide and belt. Quickly think if you can answer those questions. Okay, sand. You can say sand. Sand is the raw material of which manufactured material that can make windows. Glass. Yes. Well done. Um, clay. Clay make. Uh, you can make a manufactured material from clay, and then you can make a mug. You might know a mug that you can drink coffee with. The answer is ceramics. Oil and coal. A straw. A straw is made out of plastic. Okay. Now, wool and a jersey is wool. So, knitting wool. They're making knitting wool. Cotton, duvet cover. The manufactured material is fabric and animal hide and your belt is made out of leather. Was it easy? If it was easy, you know your work. But if you struggled, you have to do a little bit of revision and go through your summaries and activities of the last two weeks to be able to do your topic revision. Okay, so now I have a next question. Name one property for each of the above manufactured materials so property um, we've done a lot of properties last week uh, remember hard uh, soft brittle malleable um, heavy light flexible stiff all those so go and look at those properties and then you have to go quickly. But if you can do it without looking, that is amazing. Then you know your work. So you have to give me a property for glass, a property for ceramics, property for plastic, wool, fabric and leather. Okay, so that one, there's so many properties for each one of those that you can do by yourself. I do, I'm not going to give you answers for that. Okay. How did it go? If you struggled, you must read through 14 and 21 May summaries and activities. Okay, before you start with the topic revision we're going to do today. Okay, so let's quickly see. Now, now only you're going to start in your book. Okay, do the topic revision on page 80 and you're going to do the whole page. You know, we always do the whole topic revision. Okay, so, the, so let's quickly look at the topic revision. Okay, so it's on page 80. Okay, science language activity, you match column A and B. And if you look, it's plastics, absorbent, brittle, fibers, and ceramics. So you have to match column A and B. Okay, question one, by revision activity, describe the raw material of each of the following we've just done it in our starter so think a little bit what is the raw material of ceramics 
And what is the raw material of leather? Okay. Then question two. Write a sentence to explain what gloss is. Okay. So basically you're going to explain gloss is made out of something and how it is being made. Okay, so go and read a little bit about glass. Go and find glass in your textbook. Read the paragraph and then you write me a sentence. Okay. Then you have to copy the following table. We all know how, by now how to draw tables now. Okay, so make a copy of the table. Tick the properties of glass, clay and plastics. So now you're going to see, okay, the property is flexible. So you have to say, is glass flexible? Yes or no. So if it's not, you leave it open. Is clay flexible? You can tick if it's flexible. Is plastics flexible? You can tick. Now you have to think, plastics can be hard. You know, we get hard plastics, but we also get soft plastics, like a plastic bag. And your, um, your plastic bag and then like the chair we sit in in class, it's hard. So plastics can almost go both ways, okay? Then brittle, I hope you remember what brittle is. Brittle is when something shatters. So if it breaks into small pieces, if you throw it to the floor or punch it, that is brittle. So is glass brittle? Tick. Is clay brittle? Is plastics brittle? Then becomes hard when bake. Now you have to think about like your bricks. Okay, because we bake bricks and pottery and things like that, ceramics. So is it glass? Is it clay? Is it plastics? Okay, waterproof. Is this product waterproof? Tick, tick, tick or don't tick depending which one. And then soft. Soft is... If you scratch it, it makes a scratch. Or if you um, compress it, it will change shape or break. Okay. Now look at the following words. So look at the words in the box and answer the questions below. So the box is the words in yellow and red. And then it's wool slippers, wooden walking stick, polyester pillow, glass jug, jug, Floor tile, knitting wool, plastic shopping bag, and plastic knitting needles. Okay, now, name one object that is made out of a hard material. So you have to write one of these ones. There are more than one, but you only have to pick one. So if you pick um, floor tile, you have to write floor tile. If you pick... Uh, uh, plastic knitting needles. You have to write plastic knitting needles. Okay. B. Give two examples of objects that are made out of a soft material. So you look at your box. You pick two. There might be more than two, but you only have to pick two. C. List two objects that are made out of stiff materials. Same story. Only pick two. And list two objects that are made of flexible materials and you only pick two. Okay, so topic revision page 80. Okay, then let's quickly look at our plenary. Plenary again, you don't have to write the answer, you answer verbally. Okay, why do you think we use glass to make a window? Think about the properties of glass. So why do you think we pick glass to make windows why not bricks why not plastic why not um, wood okay why do we pick glass think a little bit and then here is the answer glass glass is transparent to see through it for sunlight to come in it is also waterproof to keep the rain outside. Okay, and that is what we have to do for today. I hope you enjoy it and good luck and hopefully I see you soon. Ta-ta!